Hello, Lolos. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I know it's been a couple days, but I'm back to my 10 o'clock schedule after this video. This video will probably be off schedule, but I'm here with Miss Phoebe Poo, and Phoebe is my Cinnabon. <laughs> See, I am my Cinnabon, and um, so yes, yeah, so she is full Miss Phoebe Poo, and um. We did a live stream last night. Um, I kind of almost forgot. <laughs> well, I kind of, I did forget. And then I remembered like last minute. I was like, oh gosh, I was supposed to do a live. So we ended up doing doing a live last night. And so it was, it was a different type of live for the Chatterbox. Um, I will be trying to go live a little bit more frequently on both platforms as things start to calm down for me. I'm slowly getting some of my customs you know done and or orders done and so once i get this next one done i'll be like feeling really free um because i'll have um alex i'll start doing alex and uh painting alex and alex is going to be a girl and she's going to be um african-american or a black baby i should say um and so i'm really excited about that because as you know my my alex is uh bryson and he's very fair-skinned so he's more of a caucasian baby slash maybe a light biracial baby but mostly caucasian <laughs> and so um you know I love to see the same kit painted differently. So that's going to be cool. So I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And to see her as a girl. So that baby will be be painted and rooted. So that it's going to be fun, a fun experience, I hope. And so so mommy is, is excited as well. And you know what I realized? Um, something that I've actually... The last four baby mamas <laughs> the last four babies that i've done that were private orders um, where i just had free range and that's basically how i like but the last the third one was not i mean i had a little bit of directions towards it i think the last two actually kind of uh, so no i think i've had a little bit of input from the mommy so i kind of was trying to get somewhere in the area what i I thought that they wanted but um Kaysen was the probably like the only baby that I really really kind of just had almost total free freedom with um but I enjoyed the last four but what I was getting to I don't know why I got there but what I was getting to is that they were all all four of these babies the last babies, or the, um, when I'm working on the fourth, when I'm the fifth one. Is it the fifth one? Let's see. No, no, no. Um, Daenerys, um, Lovelyn, um, Jolie, and Alex. So the four other. Uh, Alice will be the fourth one, but they're all first time silicone mommies. So it'll be the first, their first silicone. Um, unless they buy one in between before they get home. So that has been, this is, you know, it's been a fun experience. Um, but I like to try to make them have like a good experience, so to speak. Now I came on to talk about something totally different and I got uh, distracted because I always lose my train of thought and go elsewhere did i nick you or something here i look like i did i don't know okay anyway we'll figure out later but <laughs> but anyway she's trying to look up at the camera guys this is probably the only baby that I actually, you know, usually with silicone, people be like, oh, I love to squeeze them. And I'm like, why? Like, I don't squeeze my babies, but I do tend to do this to her sometimes, like, or her legs. I'll do that sometime to her legs. 
So she just feels so good. Like her softness is just so, so cool. So anyway, um, so that's, that's where I'm at. Like I have quite a bit of, um, work cut out for myself and I keep adding and I keep saying I'm not going to add anymore and I'm not. And I, so I see how easy it is for people to be like, oh shoot, you know, um, you know, I'm booked all the way out to spring of next year or summer of next year. And I, you know, I'm like, why, how do you book yourself that far out? But I see how it adds up. Um, luckily for me though, for right now, and it's probably going to end up, well, I doubt they come at the same time, but it could happen. My last two customs, and when I say last two, there probably will be my actual last two as far as silicone go. Um they are not poor yet so they won't be um here until probably next year so um the orders that i have now i will finish those up so i have technically two orders to get out the door you know and so i'm, I'm hoping to get that them done um before Christmas, of course, one I want to get done before Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. So that's that's where I'm at with that. But um one actually got bumped up to a to get, I'll be able to start on it soon sooner because of one of the kids who are not here for me to start. So it just you know it kind of works itself out, but next year I want to start off fresh, and so I'm not gonna take any silicone orders um custom orders but i'm hoping that next year i'm able to do um buy it now babies if i paint any you know for silicone but reborns i'm hoping to be able to take some private orders on reborns um i just find reborns just is a lot easier to paint and um although you make more money doing silicone i just i'm just being honest here um but it's just easier to do the reborns and when i first got in this it's so funny this is how stuff changed i was like oh you know what Re painting silicone isn't as hard as reborns like that and i i do still feel like some people actually do better sometime in silicone than they do in reborns when they're painting um, but I think that the process is more tricky and it's harder and it's more risky and it's more at stake. So I want to have a little bit less stress. So I am going to probably, you know, do paint silicone at my leisure and, you know, I just find, I, I really find that when I have no obligations to anyone and I just get to just paint and I paid for the kit. So if I mess up, it's my money. I have a lot more freedom. And then there are some times where you have these customers that something about their energy, they just give you this sense of calm and you, you feel just very calm working for them. You feel like you feel like they're honest when they say they trust you. Some people will be like, I trust you, I trust you. But you feel like if you mess up, it's going to be hell on wheels. You know what I mean? So I think that when you get, even when you get those, I think you, do, you can do a really good job for them too. I have some customers that I've painted for, for a while now. And, you know, and did, you know, little things you know, babies for them, private babies for them, and they have some of my best work. Um, and it's it's because I just feel totally comfortable working for them because I know that they know my work and they love my work. And so, um, so yeah, but anyway, that's, that's that. And um, so I'm going to go and I just wanted to, I wanted to come on and talk about something else, but I kind of got off track, so I'm going to leave it at that. And, um, and then I'll come back in another video, okay? Because I would rather keep it separate.
if that makes sense. 